So I'm here with Laura with Blue Ridge Music Trails of North Carolina. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. It's always good to be at IBMA. Blue Ridge Music Trails of North Carolina is a 29-county region in western North Carolina where we have identified music venues that feature traditional and bluegrass music throughout the 29 counties. And currently, we're up to about 250 places you can experience, play, or dance this kind of music. The venues aren't all year round. Some are. Some are seasonal. But you can find that on our website at blueridgemusicnc.com. You can create an itinerary. You can look at schedules. You can find out where the venues are. And you can get a little history about our music as well. Some of the artists recently that stopped by some of the venues that maybe a lot of people know about. Well, um, let's see. We have had some heritage concerts. The last one was called Banjo Palooza, and it featured Travis and Trevor Stewart, who play old time music from Haywood County, and Jens and Kuve Kruger, who play bluegrass from Wilkes County, North Carolina. In November, we're going to have a family styles concert the Saturday after Thanksgiving in Black Mountain, and it's going to fe feature family musicians, including Jason and Jacob Burleson from um, Avery County, and Brian McDowell and his sister Emma McDowell Best, and Brian's on the road with Claire Lynch, but they come from um, Haywood County. Little venues like Clay's Corner down in Cherokee County, way up to Mount Airy where WPAQ has the Midday Merry-Go-Round, to places like um, in Hickory you can go out to the Sims Barbecue and hear music. Or you might just travel to a place like Stacoa, where who has a regular concert series during the summer. Wow, so you guys have it all out there. and We have it all. We have anything that has to do with traditional music in Western North Carolina. We can help you find it. We can help you experience it. We can help you make a little um, weekend tour of venues that, where you can look and hear and play this music. Many of these sessions are free. Many of them are jam sessions. Shindig on the Green runs in Asheville throughout the summer, downtown in a park, and those events are free. So there's lots of things you can do to be involved in the music without spending a lot of money. More and more people are looking for an authentic visitor experience, and we give them that. We give them a place where not only they can enjoy the music, but maybe they can enjoy some local food. We're really interested in all the local grown type um, um, efforts that go on throughout the mountains. We like to support what's local and we like to support this as an economic development tool as well in Western North Carolina. Well, Laura, thank you so much and I hope everyone can get out there and enjoy some good music up and in the mountains. They if they can't get there just yet, make sure you visit BlueRidgeMusicNC.com. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.